All right, in this video, I wanted to introduce you to forms and a neat way that it allows you to share these workflows with your audience and gather really cool feedback uh, from the people you're trying to start conversations with or have conversations with. Just learn more about your audience in general. So on these tabs, we have the build where we can build and test our workflow. We have a run where we can run that workflow in a single instance. We have tables where we can run all of those workflows at scale by importing a CSV with the inputs that we need. We have our API that we can use to connect to different integrations. And then we have the form. And this form makes your workflows shareable. So we were working with the enrich a person from a LinkedIn profile. And let's say that we wanted to share that. Recently, we spoke at an event and we wanted to showcase firsthand how these workflows could be used, especially for marketing teams. So to get more information about prospects, rather than just talk about it, we built a page and shared this workflow here. So users could go in, add their own LinkedIn URL, hit submit, and they would get the results. So if you are doing this or sharing this on a page, you have this iframe here that you can copy to embed it. You also have a full page link. So if you wanted to go here just to a new page, you've got its standalone landing page where you can send to people that they can fill out almost like a survey or something to put in the inputs. Then when they hit submit, it will generate the workflow and you can either show them a confirmation or show the actual output and you can control which output you want people to see when they run that form. So maybe you don't want um, people running this form to see that you're getting all of these details. Instead, you just want to show them um, that you can gather the professional email or um, first name, last name, whatever you want to share. This is where you would do that. Then you have these additional options. You can run it again. You can reset the form. You can turn off the Powered by Copy AI. But you can also send a form rate uh, limiting. So in, just to make sure your audience doesn't generate 10,000 workflow credits uh, in an afternoon because they went crazy with your form, you can say, okay, we're going to take about 10 requests uh, every 15 minutes or one request a minute, however you want to gauge that for your audience. But forms are a great way to embed and share workflows with your audience or with other people on your team. And then all of the data, if somebody comes over to here, for instance, and were to run this workflow, if it were from the form, it would show up in the table view. So you can actually gather more information about the people who are filling out these workflow forms. And you are giving them the information that comes out of it as well. So you both have access to that data. Forms make uh, workflow sharing incredibly easy. So again, the, the options here are really limitless. Forms are so flexible but they come as an iframe that you can embed on existing pages, or again, you can use this here for the full page length and just create a custom page immediately to be sent off. 